Okay, so we're in the Samsung Space Tycoon. I'm going to go over how to get all the prizes right now. There's five to earn, but there'll be more in the future when the game updates again and add more prizes. So I'm going to go over everything real quick and then show you guys how to grind and how to get, earn some coins because that's important. So first things first, to get the first free prize, it will be over here at the spawn. And you'll see this alien here. You want to talk to Sam. And sometimes it might not work if you talk to him fully. So I just want to go ahead and rejoin the game and hope to find a server that works. It must maybe it'll work for every server, but right now it would seem to be buggy. So talk to Sam and he'll give you the Samsung phone backpack. Then after that, to see all the other prizes, you want to head to the shop over here and you want to talk to this shopkeeper and you'll go to accessories. These are all the accessories you can get right now and they all cost coins, right? And what you want to do is uh, buy them and then you get the prize, right? So the parrot will cost 6K and then the... Uh, this one will cost 8k, 10k for the headset, and then 15k for the lemonade hat. So, how do we get coins? So, basically, how to get coins, you want to go ahead and head over to the pink desert, which is the uh, area you want to farm for your resources. And you're going to have only 10 uh, capacity, but you want to make sure you fill your backpack and get as much as resources as you can uh, for the most part. So, you want to go ahead and get around here as fast as possible. Equip your pickaxe here, and then you want to head over to any type of mine here. And you want to click, and you'll do it multiple times, but when you get maxed out, it's only one time, you'll get one per pickup. Uh, if you upgrade your pickaxe, you'll get plus two or plus three eventually. And then if you upgrade your backpack, the max is 50. So you want to just get a bunch of resources flying around here. They spawn like you're normally, if you play any of like Pet Sim, the more you the more you destroy, the more they spawn in different locations. And also, to keep out a lookout, is Rainbow Stone. Rainbow Stone spawn in the same spots every single time. So for example, there's one that spawns here. And then if you head down over here, you want to hold down E and get rainbow stones. And rainbow stones are very important. You always want to get rainbow stones when you're selling your product. So we'll talk about how that works in a second there. But rainbow stones, they all spawn in the same spots. Keep looking for them and do that. I'll show a couple locations here. There's one over here. Uh, head up the, up the mountain. And then do one over here. There's also one in a tree just up here. Right. And then there is one up here to the right. And then there is one usually in that tree over there that I picked up. Like I said, just pick up all the crystals or rubies, copper crystals. It's the only that spawns is ruby, copper, copper crystals. Pick up everything you see. And then you want to head back to your laboratory. So there's a teleporter over here. Instead of walking all the way back to the spawn, you have to take the teleporter over here and head back to your lab. The lab here is where you make your uh, items here. So basically, all you need to do is... Once you first enter your tycoon, you want to head to your refine your components here and it puts it to the machine. And what that does, it puts it in, back into your uh, your inventory to create uh, the items here, basically. So now you want to head to your machine and pick an item. So the easiest one is these and it gets more and more expensive uh, to craft some of these. And then but they also worth a little bit more. And you can see how it says bespoke colors, gold, and platinum. What that means is that when you uh, use a rainbow ore, so let's say we put this here, right? You can see that we could, it'll cost us one copper, one ruby, and it has a ruby, I, I mean a rainbow stone here. So when you go and do this, you can do multiple. So what you want to do to be fast, okay, I want to do 10, right? So I put in 10 in the machine, or 11 by accident. Let me put 10 here. I put 15 by accident. Can't really uh, pick them out, sadly. Um, and then we want to put rainbow stones. So pick up 10 or whatever. We're going to walk back. Put 10 in. And we're going to put the, put the machine on. And there it will give us a random amount here. So you see it'll be 200, right? But it, it could give us a gold. It would be 600. It could give us a platinum. It would be 1,100. So you may get lucky here. And uh, you might get that. If not, you get just 200 cash. Of course, once you once you craft an item, it'll go over here. Oh, we got platinum right there. Very lucky. Uh, we can pick up the item 
and you want to press E on it. But we have a cashier, which auto sells. What that means is that when you head over here, you get your lab upgrades. And your lab upgrades, what that does is that when you upgrade your lab, which costs money and it increases in cost, you get new recipes and new recipes gives you more money, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so you want to reach to these more amounts here. The best recipe, in my opinion, is this one here, the uh, level eight. But uh, that's up to you. When you get to level 10, you get the cashew, which is auto sell. But you don't need to go, you don't need to go that far. Level eight is pretty good uh, item to go for. And then we have a fire here. We're going to go put the fire out. It's random, but it's a pretty annoying uh, thing to have uh, for this game here. So we sold out everything here. We made a couple thousand. We got lucky. Got platinum, which is very, very lucky. Uh, very random chance. Now, we're out of lemons. Lemons is very important. We have to go back over here to the lemonade greenhouse. But I have it unlocked because you might not. You have to get to a certain level to use this teleporter. But I'll show you guys the location of it. Um in the, the actual space tycoon or space station. Um, but eventually you have to go back here, pick up lemons, uh, picking up a lemon. The reason why I need lemons is because we can't sell our product if we don't have lemons. So every time you sell one product, you use up one lemon. So if you sell 10 objects, you, you have to use up 10 lemons basically. So make sure you spend your, make sure you go back here, pick up the lemons and then go back to your uh, laboratory and refine your lemon so that it goes into your inventory you can only hold 50 total on every resource so make sure you spend and uh, manage your resource inventory as you can only hold uh, 50 each time basically so we have the max backpack so we can only hold 50 and we'll put in 50 right now and now we max it out pretty much so then it just goes over there get the 50 there so like i said we get level eight uh get you get to this the, the cube air purifier and this is only cost two 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 right so if you have 50 in total then you get make 25 right you do 25 times four which is ten thousand right uh so if you get 50 25 but then get lucky you might get more so that's you know decent amount or you could just do the the galaxy pro buds and you get 200 per and it's not that expensive to go for you might get lucky and you may get a golden platinum if you use rainbow you want to use rainbow for sure always use rainbow stones rainbow stones are very easy to get so don't worry about that but yeah so one last thing before we go uh that's pretty much the, the game you just sell and just keep buying stuff but you you don't like you do want to buy upgrades the most important upgrades is a vehicle to go on fast uh, backpack upgrades and uh, pickaxe because I mean obviously they're all I mean all of them it's all the upgrades you can get but uh, I'll tell you which ones are good so as long as you upgrade uh, your high tech pickaxe like one time like this one it's pretty good because it gets you plus two per pickup but if you get to the hypersonic blaster then that one gets you plus three per pickup but it only costs two hits if you get max one hit which is very nice it's convenient I say up to 30 is pretty good, a uh, good amount to go for, 30 gems. The rest is okay, but you only need 50. 30 is pretty nice. And for vehicle, the pogo stick is really good. It gives you increased speed and also gives you a higher jump speed as well. It makes you jump higher. This gives you, this one makes it go pretty fast, but you don't need it, need it. But uh, yeah, so the pogo stick is good. So those are the upgrades you want to go for. The pickaxe is nice and then 30 gems is nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoy that hopefully it's useful hopefully you guys explain a little bit uh how it works um but uh, it's pretty easy and uh shouldn't take that shouldn't take that long to uh get things done but uh i'm the manager of this station here that's right so hope you guys enjoy that and hopefully a bit useful huh